Well, good afternoon. We want to welcome you to our leadership devotion at Refuel. I appreciate the opportunity to, to read a scripture and encourage you to be a leader for the Lord Jesus Christ. Our verse today is from Luke, or excuse me, Matthew chapter 16 and verse 24. The Bible says, Then Jesus said to his disciples, If any man desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. I want to give you today what I call from this verse of Scripture the four D's of leadership. The first D that our Lord gave is disciples. He, he, he was talking to the disciples. Then Jesus said to his disciples, in order for you to be a leader, you have to know the leader of all leaders, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you a follower? Are you a disciple? A learner of the Lord Jesus Christ? And then notice not only the word disciple but the second d of leadership is desire the scripture uses this word twice in this verse if anyone desires to come after me to pursue a life of holiness and leadership is something that you must desire yeah you have to be a disciple but as you pursue christ in your life it should become the supreme desire to follow Jesus. When you get up in the morning, do you desire to follow Jesus? During the day, do you desire to come after and pursue Jesus? Yes, you need to be a disciple. Number two, yes, you need to desire to come after him. That means pursuing. And then number three is the word death, the third D of leadership. The Bible says, take up his cross by the way, that's death to self. When Jesus died on the cross, that was his cross. As a leader, you're going to have to take up your cross and die to your decisions, your choices, your life, how you want to live, the things you want to do, the places you want to go. It's not about you anymore. If you're a leader and a follower of Jesus Christ, a disciple who desires to come after him, you're going to take up your cross and there's certain things you're going to have to die to. And then notice number four, not only death, but also notice the word denial. The Bible says, let him deny himself. Yeah, if you're going to follow Jesus, there's going to be times where you have to deny yourself. And that's probably one of the most difficult things to do as a believer. And I hope and pray as a leader that you will learn to deny yourself and do what God wants you to do. That's what a leader does. A leader is someone who's a disciple. He desires to come after Jesus. He denies himself and he dies to self. Hey, be a leader and serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much.